Hello guys, welcome back to Red Hot TV today. Buhari condemns the killing of 44 farmers by Boko Haram in Borono State. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Major General Muhammad Buhari, has condemned the killing of farm workers in Borono State. It had earlier been reported that Boko Haram fighters killed at least 43 farmers, farm workers and injured six in rice fields near Meduguri, the Borono state capital, on Saturday. Reacting in a statement by his senior special assistant on publicity and media, Garba Sheu, the president expressed grief over the killing of the farmers on rice fields at Zabamari, in Jere local government area of Borono State, de describing the terrorist killings as insane. The statement was titled, President Buhari condemns as insane Boko Haram killing of farmers in Borono State. The statement quoted Buhari as saying, I condemn the killing of our hard-working farmers by terrorists in Borono State. The entire country is hurt by these senseless killings. My thoughts are with their families in this time of grief. May their souls rest in peace. The statement added that the president had given all the needed support to the armed forces to take all necessary steps to protect the country's population and its territory. The assailants had reportedly tied up the agricultural workers and slit their throats. Horrible. We have recovered 43 dead bodies, all of them slaughtered, along with six others with serious injuries. Militia leader Babakura Kolo told AFP. It is no doubt the handiwork of Boko Haram who operates in the area and frequently attack farmers, Kolo added. The victims were laborers from Sokoto State in northwest Nigeria, roughly 1,000 kilometers away, who had traveled to the northeast to find work, said another militia man, Ibrahim Liman, who gave the same tour. However, Nigerians have vehemently reacted to this in an angry and obnoxious manner. Nolly will wrote, condemn president, condemn government. Later, they will reward this God forsaken people all in the name of rehabilitation. The bad news here is the way the price of rice will skyrocket in the southeast, southwest, and south south. Traders will be like, my brother, didn't you hear? Boko Haram killed all the rice farmers that were supposed to bring rice down to this place. Rubbish. Condemned country. Okay? Festakman said, Chief of Army Staff, General Buratai is from Borono State. Shame on him. National Security Advisor, Babagana Monguno, is from Borono State. Shame on him. Most of Boko Haram food soldiers and informants are from Borono State. Curse on them. The highest president Buhari can do is to tell the same General Buratai and Baba Gana Munguno to redouble efforts and obviously their efforts has fallen terribly short. Time for change of guards is due. May the souls of the dead rest in peace. Blue Banana wrote, It be like say Buari son name na condemn. Condemn, condemn, condemn. Yet no actions. Over 40 farmers killed in the most gruesome manner in an established state like Nigeria in 2020. And the chief security officer comes just to condemn. Effective, proactive measures would have averted this carnage. Don't condemn. You have, you, 
they have done enough Sweet, swiftly work for justice to be served well the north is feeling the heat this should be a warning to everyone in nigeria about the consequences of voting in someone because he is their son or brother mouthpiece wrote it's obvious this man and his security chiefs have run out of ideas to fight these monsters just imagine what the president is saying and some people will still support him he is such a weakling split mind roots fake news nobody died and the north is safe thank you so much our darling president for securing the north it will do you well to counter seriously this fake news being spread to tarnish your image well this is a sarcastic post mocking the Nigerian president how it's handled the killings of NSAS protesters. Philip PhD wrote, Nigeria is a business. Politicians are businessmen. The government is for the benefit of the elites, not for the people or the society. The people are mere tools. Anything that doesn't affect the elites do not matter. No this and no peace. Olabolaji wrote, The only thing the authority knows how to do in this country is reacting, shocking, and condemning. Nothing is new anymore in this country, Jari. With Boko Haram, headsmen, bandits, hoodlums, police, army, Isba, and so on, there is no limit of terrible happenings in the country. Man is not surprised anymore, Jari. Another person wrote, even if Boko Haram like make he finish, make he kill all of them finish, I got no pity for the North. This answers opened my eyes about them to reality. You go see his bar and Murik talk. You know go see his bar and Murik talk put for this one. Lie lie. Now to incite violence then Sabi. Nonsense people. The Godfather wrote, useless president and Mumu Nottanans. They are only interested in retaining power come 2023 at the expense of the life of their people. Until Nigeria is restructured, the North will continue to be a breeding ground for terrorism. Hmm. Okay. Possible G roots. Fight those terrorists. Mba. Nah. Equip the military. Nah. Okay, nah. Change chief of army staff. Nah. What other thing will he do again? Aside condemn commend them. Sorry, condemn those terrorists. According to how we wrote it. That's Buhari for you anyway. Okay. And that person, hope rising matter wrote. Why doesn't Oga always speak? Why is it only special advisor that speaks? Other countries, Oga would have spoken addressing the situation and provide steps that would be taken to curtail this sort of thing. It's a pity though the level of insecurity experienced in Nigeria may their hard-working souls rest in peace. Amen. Imali wrote, okay now, this is giving some confirmation to a conspiracy theory I was formulating about food shortages. Headsmen and farmer clashes, bandits and Boko Haram is looking more and more like a scorched earth tactic from the side of the insurgents. Another person wrote, This news is a lie. It's not true. It didn't happen. It's fake reports. Boko Haram didn't kill anybody. As a matter of fact, the North is peaceful and everyone is going about their normal business. Yeah. Dorian wrote, I saw this response coming. It's not new. Judas Nakarot wrote a very long one which I'll end with. Stupid man who doesn't know anything. Always talking by proxy. If it's not garbage, she goes. It will be Femi Ade China or the other small boy that opens his loud mouth all the time. 
a president who has never written a book all his life nor delivered any intellectual speech in the academic or business forum that will be beneficial to mankind. A man whose only known achievement is rearing gay cattle that never increased the number. How he became a general in the army is baffling, even though we know it is a quota system general. He cannot speak or face the press on one-on-one -on -one discourse because he doesn't know what to say. Very daft and uninformed president. Nigerians will know what they did to themselves by voting this unintelligent and backward man because of religion and region as president. Thank God everybody is affected, mostly the northerners, where insecurity, poverty, and disease are ravaging the region with high level of proficiency. Nonsense. So guys, if you have anything to say concerning this, drop your comments in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to this wonderful channel. Thank you very much.